Listen close this time of year, and you'll hear ghosts wailing. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Huntcraft. A new event is around the corner. It's the Halloween event, and it's called Harvest of Ghosts. This is a big one, because it also comes with a brand new game mode. That doesn't happen often, does it? I'll quickly go through all the headlines, so you're ready with all the info that you need. Let's start with the event. It's the usual. A few new hunter skins, they all look cool. And there's a bunch of new weapon variants and one new weapon, it seems. As you can see, this is the first one. It's the Centennial Pointman, medium-sized scoped lever action rifle. Second one is the Bomb Launcher, which seems like a compact bomb lens without the blade. And this bad boy is a medium crown and king. With the recent buff to shotguns, this could be a menace. There's also a rival mace, which is a medium rival with a mace for a stock. And the new weapon is the Maynard Sniper, the first weapon with a scope by default. And we have a new explosive that you can detonate remotely with Dark Sight. Hunt Showdown's first C4. And if you notice here, this guy was dead, shot with a hand crossbow, and he got up. What the f- We'll talk about this in a second. And the event will be running from October the 16th to November the 25th. The event comes with the usual trio of pacts. This time we have the Wilderness, the Smugglers, and a new one called the Pact of Omens. A new trait called Blast Sense, that when used with the Pact of Omens, it will boost your senses, and this will show you the origin of sound, like gunshots or explosions in Darkseid. Poison Sense is now broader, it's Pain Sense. And it's not just poison, it will actually show you players who are bleeding or on fire too. And with the Pact of Omens, it will also highlight players that are out of stamina. Such a specific piece of intel. The Smuggler's Pact has a new trait called Gunrunner. This is a one-up Quartermaster. It lets you carry two large slot weapons. And Greyhound is the conditional trait for the Smuggler's Pact. In addition to its normal effect, if you're carrying a bounty, it will make you run even faster. The Wilderness Pact still has Surefoot, but they added an increased crouch movement speed to it. And Beast Face is still the conditional trait, and it functions the same way as before. And for solos, the reduced or non-existent crouch movement noise has been moved to Lightfoot, regardless of Pact. Community Rage. Now let's talk about this one. A Hand Crossbow Revive Bolt. Actual instant revive from Rage. Didn't we just nerf Necro? What am I missing? Such a twist. This reminds me of them having an article on their website justifying why there's no bullet drop in the game, and then they introduce bullet drop. We're gonna nerf Necro and make it a burn trade to combat stalemates, but then we'll give you a Call of Duty revive pistol. This is quite interesting. Will this be restocked from special ammo boxes? Will it be unrestockable? It seems to come with three shots at least, that's three revives. I guess the difference with Necro is that you can do Necro from behind a wall, while this one you have to have line of sight of the body and be a bit close. Still, it's an instant revive. It's faster than any type of revive. I'm not sure I like this, but we'll have to see how it affects the flow of the game. And then the Dark Dynamite Satchel. It seems to be cool and interesting, but also, can you defuse it? If you run over it, will it blow up? How far can you detonate it? And if an enemy sees it, can they detonate it with their dark sight? Or is it tied to the owners only? And what if he dies? Or would it be tied to the owner and his teammates? Interesting, I think I like it, but we'll see. Now for the new game mode, Bounty Clash. This is basically a condensed action pack mode for the action part of the game. If you find it boring to find clues, realize that the boss is too far and then you go extract, or find the section you're in is too far from the boss, so you switch to the second boss, and you feel it's a walking sim if you never run into anyone, this cuts all the fluff for you. This is a game mode that starts with a dead boss, players know where he is, and everyone runs to click the boss for the banish. The banish time is faster, you get one bounty, and the time limit is 15 minutes down from 45. Maybe I'm old, and so are my friends, but this is a very, very highly desired mode by casual players. I personally have so many friends who really like Hunt, but because they have limited time, whenever they play and we end up finding the boss, banishing it, and nobody comes, 
they get so bored and they rage quit for a month. And it doesn't help if you're not very good. Those players will end up spending an hour or two and thinking, damn, I played for that long and had like three or four kills. This seems to be tailored exactly for those kinds of people. And I don't think this is a small portion of the community. So hopefully this is enticing enough to not just bring new people, but also bring back players that kind of gave up on the game. Bounty Clash is going to run on those dates. So it starts with the event on the 16th, but it's not available all the time. After the first four days, it's going to be available only on weekends, till the end of the event. It's like an open beta, I guess, for the mode, and it makes sense to be weekends, as this will be the busiest time, and they probably don't want to risk splitting the community and extending the queue times. The only two things I've noticed that might be concerning are those. First, matchmaking in this mode will be based on your MMR, but it won't affect your MMR. The obvious abuse here is for a good player to jump on an alt account with no MMR to reflect their skill. They would potentially keep matchmaking with newer players and farm the shit out of them. This can end up being like the trials that they removed, a mode that makes new players rage quit the game because it would be impossible to beat for a newcomer. And the second one is, again, it's not casual or new player friendly. This isn't like Soul Survivor. You don't get a trash loadout and we all start on even footing. You take your hunter and your loadout. And this doesn't sound like a mode where you will have multiple teams extracting. This is a Royal Rumble. One team will probably win. So if you don't often clear out maps, this will be really, really expensive for players who struggle with money. Their only option will be playing with free hunters, which will make them fodder. Obviously, this isn't a release of the mode, this is just a trial. So if they ever make it a permanent mode, it will surely go through enough tweaking and balancing and feedback that it will hopefully end up being a positive addition to the game. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know what yours are in the comments. And what do you think about the new mode and the revive bolts? Thanks for your time, and please remember to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.